So, so all the um, so all the Catholics and Protestants and really big on communion and sacrament. They don't do it like the way like I, I like learn to do it with um, the Church of um, Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saint. We have water and we have bread. It's actual bread. <laughs> it's not actually somebody's skin. No, 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 Cassie's turn. We don't have wine. I think wine is Bacchus. Bacchus is a, a bloodthirsty demon. His palm is around biting people's necks out and drinking their blood and killing them. And the idea is, you know, ID fraud in them as well. The Protestants are the same, Gospels are the same. And, um, I don't think it's the same. So, um, wait. So, yes, it, there is a, a lot of. I can tell you that all the blood that uh, they, the Catholics and Protestants, so it was an Inquisition, uh, cut, cut from me uh, as torture they kept and uh, took away in, in bold and whatever, right, and so presumably they sell them that blood, right, um, I can tell you that, of course werewolves and vampires and other demons, bloodthirsty demons, very interested in people's blood, yep, right, um, from a spiritual perspective, my god, and the Bible says, you know, <coughs> I'm the same way about this one anyway. Um, we don't like blood, blood sacrifice, don't like murder, don't like eating meat or, or drinking blood or anything like right? It says in um, Cain and Abel in Genesis that God liked the grain sacrifice, I'm the same. Right. So, anyway, um, What some of the reasons why vampires and werewolves are interested in other people's blood sometimes is what they call a DNA upgrade and they inject you know, blood transfer, some people call it, uh, some of somebody's blood, a specific uh, blood, specific qualities in certain in people's entities' bloods. Because um, the things like in the olden days, the werewolves and vampires only went out at night, and the sun came up, and the steam disintegrated to dust. Right. So with DNA upgrades uh, from somebody else's blood, you can cope with the sun. Um, Yeah. On that documentary, it's talking about plasma. I'm trying to give the impression it's part of the blood. This is going. If you don't know, huh? <laughs> check that out. What they're doing is they're actually cutting people's um, skin, fat layers. Everything out of them and selling it. I mean, yeah, well, it doesn't have a good effect on them. I mean, but they only want to wear their clothes now and then get on. And so they get ID frauded and replaced. So, I wonder if plasma is worth so much money. 
because I'm not as kind like I do finding people and taking over people's <coughs> ideas and planets and loot. Eat. Don't donate blood, don't donate organs. Eat. Eat. If you have signed up to do either of those things, Please sink them into your heart to me tell you that you do. Okay, thank you. I'm cloning from blood as well. Right. Yeah. So I just sort of want everyone to think right. Okay. Yeah, it is something I was doing, it just came to me before, about uh, spreading the prophetic powerful <coughs> stuff from the Bible, right? So, um, The, the first thing she says is that about um, being a chosen one of God. Um, for instance, I I don't use that terminology, and I I am <coughs> she mean one of God's recognized as a God in the Bible, right? So um, so that's 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 not my thing. That, that chosen one thing. In fact, the the one that that. Uh, calls people chosen ones is actually the one that says chosen for well, me ones like me should say chosen for what it chosen for sacrifice you don't want to repeat that prayer um and you don't want to be a sacrifice it's, it's actually what it was anyway so um uh yep yeah, so uh you have no power over me, you have no authority over me. Right. You can say watch out for that one as well. Okay. Uh, love everyone, I love in love with everyone, I'm in love with, and all the other stuff, and force me with you, force me with you.